Okay, I want to add uh, a little more detail uh, to this thing and, and then start changing color and material uh, on pieces of it. Um, uh, so uh, to add the, uh, I'm going to add a little seam across here. To do that, I'm just going to make sure I have my uh, mask lasso brush uh, selected and I'm just going to kind of cut in probably somewhere from about right here and then turn down. And should be able to get all that. Mm, not really like that. Let's see, let's try a little steeper angle. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, and then let's mirror that, or not mirror it, but parallel it over here on this side. Mm, not that. Mm. That's pretty good. May have to sneak up on it a little bit. Um, yeah, and let's see. That looks fine. A little, still a little thick up top. Let's see. Fix that. Let's go ahead and get the rest of that. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, ooh, good thing. Let's see. Yeah. Do a little bit of fixing right across here. And then just deflate that some, get it pushed in, clear the mask, see how that looks. A little bit squared off down there, but I'm not going to spend any time changing that. So. Um, all right, so to make materials happen, um, you need to do uh, one thing you notice that I've got a material here selected that's not these they're still in that basic matte cap gray and the way I was able to do that was to let's go ahead to my matte cap gray um, and then just pick one of my sub tools and come up make sure that Z subs off actually I don't think that's gonna matter but MRGB, make sure the MRGB material plus color uh, is on and then come over to color and fill object. Oops, I got that kind of green color. Let's go back to a white um, color. And, but you see the effect of it, fill object. Uh, and let's do that also on um, the blade uh, subtool color fill object. And now I should be able to change materials without without everything automatically uh, changing to that. So, um, for example, I could come down, pick that chrome, and then if I want that uh, on that on that or that reflected matte chrome um, down there, if I want that now on my blade, I can come in and uh, color fill object, and now it's it's got that. So. Uh, it's looking good. Um, I'm gonna need to subdivide it a little bit, um, and then a material on my um, uh, handle uh, up here. Let's try something with a little bit of kind of a shiny uh, plastic uh, to it. Uh, maybe a mm, let's see, toy plastic maybe. And then color, fill object. Oh yeah, very nice. Yeah, very glossy. Um, and so when I come back, I'll show how to now alter uh, color back uh, on uh, other parts of that. 
So uh, essentially, we're just going to work uh, the same way you know, where we did the, the masking. Uh, first of all, let's make sure we're on the handle of subtool. Um, and I want to change the color of this part uh, of it. So I'm just going to come in and with my mask tool, just kind of get down in and draw in there and see how that looks if I need to change any more of that I can let's go ahead and that make sure I've got everything uh, and now um, I don't know let's pick Something that's kind of kind of a blue green there that looks pretty good. So getting the intensity up uh, on that, and I can come in and um, color and fill object, and it's only going to fill in that. See if I invert the mask, it's only going to fill on on that part of it. Um, Let's invert the mass. Uh, yeah, that's going to be okay. And so now let's pick a. Uh, I just want to go to a kind of a really dark gray uh, in there. Invert the mask color. The object. And invert again to see if it's a little too dark. Mm. And I could just paint this too. It's. it's good. It's kind of what I want. Let's clear the mask, see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This seems a little bright to me, so I'm going to undo that. Uh, and now let's see if we can kind of lower the value down on that a little bit. And fill that clear the mask okay yeah I think that looks fine uh, and then um, actually while I've got that let's invert that mask and let's get our noise uh, alpha uh, so <clears throat> uh, what I'm, what, I've got that in my light boxes uh, here under I think I've got it under noise yeah there it is we'll load that in that's the alpha one thing to note, these things need to be a grayscale Photoshop document. Uh, otherwise, when you double click on them, it'll load them into texture um, from Lightbox. Uh, you can use the standard you know, where you click on this and import, and that'll work just fine. But if you want to load them from Lightbox, uh, they have to be a grayscale uh, PSD uh, document. So let's see, I've got my noise, I've got this. Uh, this time I don't need the... Um, Let's hide light box. Um, and I want my draw type to be the drag rectangle. And I don't need um, the uh, symmetry. So let's, uh, oop, and I have to add Z sub or Z add uh, to it. Let's pull that out. Woo! <laughs> and it looks like the strength. Oh, and I have, um, let's see, on my brush, I think I have. Yeah, back face mask turned on. Let's just make sure that's turned off. It is off by default. I had had it turned on earlier. Um, so let's drop my Z intensity way down. And let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. Getting some nice, nice speckly. Actually, I may want that on so that it gets both sides of it. Yeah, looking good there. Put a little on that part of it any little spots that aren't really getting it. Yeah, and then if there's some of these areas like this um, that are starting to get kind of crosshatchy, uh, turn the symmetry off and yeah, kind of cut.
cover those. Clear the mask. Yeah, that's looking good. Looking good there. I want to come back, I'll show how to uh, emboss some uh, text uh, into this. Continuing on. Um, so we, uh, we're pretty good here with everything. Uh, I want to add a, kind of an embossed text label to this part of the handle right here. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to change my alpha out. Um, and again, I'm going to go from Lightbox, and I've made my own uh, labels. So I'm going to load up this Cortex brand uh, label. Um, hide my light box and you can see that um, with Z sub on if I drag this thing and make sure I've got the um, drag rectangle uh, stroke and I'm just going to kind of orient myself sort of let's see let's get yeah there we go it's a little better get kind of face on to this little section right here if I drag that out you see it embossing that in but you notice that it's in reverse uh, so let me undo that. And if I'm in Z add, now everything is, you know, it's kind of cool, but it's pushing it out. I don't really want that because I don't want it kind of bumping up onto uh, the person's hand. I also want a little more intensity on this. Take that up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, uh, but if I go to Z sub, uh, it, it's, yeah, it's backwards. So what I do need to do is come over to alpha and then come down to make sure the modify rollouts uh, turned on and um, actually I don't need to do it there I can do it from right here uh, I'm just going to flip it horizontally and now it should draw out yeah, the way I want it so let's go ahead and get this kind of positioned in the center here draw it out and I can use my you know I can kind of drag my mouse or pen uh, around a little bit till it gets kind of the size that I want See how does the depth look? The depth looks. I could adjust that. I could probably go a little bit deeper, but uh, just for the sake of brevity, uh, I'm going to leave that like that. Everything else is looking oh, fairly good. Uh, ha! You see, good, glad I kind of rotated around. Yeah, I think that drag rectangle. That's probably why I had that back face mask turned on. Uh, so let me undo that, and actually, that that'll go, let me turn this thing up a little bit deeper. Uh, come back to my alpha and sorry on this case I just need my brush uh, not alpha but brush bring that up and then go down to auto masking uh, there and turn on back face mask that way it won't um, carve through uh, this thing it masks the back space back, back faces for this so let's get centered up drag that out uh, get that pushed up that looks good. Yeah, yeah, it's looking a lot better. Cortex brand. Uh, and then uh, the last thing I think I want to do on this thing is let's switch back down to the um, the subtool for the blade. And um, let's see what happens if we just subdivide it. It might round it over a little bit out there on the ends yet. Yeah, actually, that looks okay. Uh, let's undo and redo that. A little bit of rounding is not too bad. You could try uh, undoing it. Let's see what happens if we turn smoothing off and subdividing it. So it'll keep those kind of sharp edges but create a little bit more. No, I think I want to smooth it. And yeah, definitely want to smooth it. So once I've done that, uh, let's see, let's kind of get oriented around this thing where we can see it fairly well. Um, and then do uh, BPR on it. Yeah, that looks really nice. And um, print screen that and then I could uh, drop in the Photoshop and uh, paste that in. So I hope these things uh, have helped uh, and uh, look forward to seeing what you uh, do.